to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Melissa and I am a full-time Poshmark seller and I dabble with eBay. I won't consider myself a full-time eBayer because I don't make that much money from eBay. Not yet. Anyway, so I went to the bins and it's been a minute since I've been there. So I went kind of late in the day and I didn't get 100 pounds. I ended up getting 79 pounds. But that's okay because it's only $1.09 a pound at 79 pounds. Well, it's over 50. Then it's um, $1.09. I like to get to the 89 cent mark because it's way cheaper. But this way, everything will end up being, I don't know, I haven't counted everything. So usually it's about a dollar a piece, an item. Usually, even for the shoes, it's pretty cheap. Um, I paid $92 in total because I rounded up it was $91 and some odd cents so let's get into it I'm gonna do the clothes first and then I'm gonna do the shoes last I have a lot of I have a lot of clothes and not so much of shoes now this is this is LL Bean I think we're all familiar with this but I think this is a vintage one this is wool I think this one was hundred percent wool yeah and I think you probably saw it but how pretty is that it doesn't have any holes or anything like that yeah, my light kit is on me because it was a little dark. They can turn it down a little bit. Um, no, okay. Whatever, it's just gonna be a little bright around the edges, a little overexposed, but that's okay. I just thought this was really cute. And I always pick up, well, I don't just pick up seasonal items because sometimes you come across some really good stuff in the summer for winter and I post it right away I don't wait till the right season to post it because I want to be ready when that season comes along you know I sell more sweaters in the summer than I do in the winter it's weird anyway I'm just gonna put them on the floor over there this is a yoga towel which needs to be washed I don't wash everything I wash most I wash a lot of it really depends it depends on if it smells or whatnot I steam everything though and steaming actually kills more germs than washing your clothes because it's hot but if it's like that wool sweater I won't steam that or will I wash it what I'll do is I'll put it in a dry L bag and put it with the dry L sheet and put it in my dryer for 22 minutes on steam setting and uh, it'll come out smelling fresh and uh, being cool so and this has like the little rubber grippers on this side if you've ever done yoga this is kind of a life send or, or yeah godsend I'm not religious I'm atheist so I guess godsend um, because you slip all over your yoga mat I've done hot yoga like twice it made me sick full times so I didn't want to go back which is kind of sad because I really wanted to, I wanted, I wanted to do hot yoga, but it makes me throw up, to be perfectly honest. And I just thought I want to throw up every time. So anyway, this is BCBG Generation. I know this is not the most expensive line, but I thought this jacket was really nice. Um, it's extra small, but it's, and it seems like really big for an extra small, but it just, I don't know, I really liked it. I don't know if the pockets are functional oh they are the pockets are functional they're not through here but they are through here if that makes any sense I just I really liked it I thought I can put it on um, I could put it on eBay and I probably should be able to get maybe 20 bucks for it you know and honestly all this stuff will cost me less than a hundred dollars I'll make that back in like a few items, maybe less than five. This, super cute, totally wish it was an adult size, but, oh, it's queen of hearts. This faux, like moto, le faux leather, because I'm pretty sure it's faux leather, right? It, and it has, it has uh, Japanese writing on it. And it says seven eight, so I know it's little girls, but how adorable is that? I love this like pin, but it doesn't come off, and that's just the back. It's like a fit and flare moto dress. There's so many. Oh, I see the problem with it now. You know, I won't get as much as I thought I would with it because of this problem right here, but I bet you I can still sell this. Because this is a play 
This is a cosplay dress. Kids, kids ruin stuff. I don't have any kids, but I know people that have kids and never think it's ruined. So, yeah, if it's pretty ruined a little bit, it won't be a big deal when they ruin it completely. Okay, so this lady, <laughs> this lady holds this up to me and she's like, I don't understand. And, and I was like, oh, it, it ties in the bag. And it has like these little ties you can see up hanging up the sides and it's like you know it goes over your chest and whatever and it's like a you put a bra or whatever under it or even like a bikini top it's an Angie brand but I thought it was really cute and really flowy for you know um, festival season and it has some like sparkly decal on this side which I think they're all there yeah mostly whatever and I think that's forever 21 which I don't pick up a lot of forever 21 but sometimes I oh no it's Angie <gasps> there is a forever 21 thing in here this caught my eye it's really cute it's Maggie London it's a size 12 dress how beautiful is this dress and it needs is it pocketed no but it it, it has a little um, you see that little like pilling it's not really pilling it's kind of you know you take your sweater shaver takes it right off can't even tell it's there I've done that to so many of those kinds of dresses I think it's when the elastic breaks um, you can just take your sweater shaver and it shaves them right off and like doesn't even look like they ever broke but it doesn't really when they break like that it doesn't ruin the integrity of the dress at all because it's still stretchy it's not misshapen in any way um, they just they just break I've not heard of this before. This is Eric Erica Taylor. I just really liked the um, pattern on the pants. They're just like stretchy pants, but they're thicker. Yeah, they're like a they're like trouser type thick. He would wear with like a nice sweater over it. Somebody had cut these off. Cause I don't think these were originally blue jeans. No, cause it's the, the length is 30. I mean, shorts, they're not blue anyway. They're black jeans, but oh, they're kind of grayish. But someone had like put this little uh, feather on it. I thought that was really cute. So I just thought it was cute. Someone might like it. Kind of broken already, short season. This, I don't think, oh it does. This is really cute, cute. George, I have not heard of this before. Georgia, oh yeah, Georgia. It's an extra large, but how pretty. Oh, this was a fashion focus, because it has a black tag. They want 10 bucks for it. Well, I got it for like under a dollar, I'm pretty sure. But how pretty is that? And there's no, I couldn't see any pools when I looked in the, um, I tried to look really, oh, there's one here in the back. You know what if it's two if there's more than a couple there's like one or two it's hard to see it in these kind of patterns and that sells anyway if there's one or two like pulls um, I just disclose it and say there's a couple pulls but you can't really see it because of the pattern people don't care I mean unless it's glaringly obvious people don't really care this is love love I've never heard of it before just a regular tag but I really loved the embroidery on it I thought that was really cute. There's no stains on it. It's a cute color. I think this is the, it's close. It's not really the coral, which is this year's um, Pantone color, but it's cute. It's close to it though. I'm gonna back up just a tad. I think I'm getting a little too close to the camera. Okay, this is Forever 21. Um, I just think this is really cute and it's a little crop top. It's, festival season so someone will want this every time I get crop tops no matter if they're forever 21 or whatever they always seem to sell so somebody out there wants them you know even if I get $12 for it I paid probably less than a dollar for it I mean I probably paid 75 cents for it something like that this is Foxcroft it doesn't have that huge of a um, this is a size 16 so it's a plus size 
It doesn't have that huge a comps, but they weren't terrible either. And it's a cool pattern. It's, it reminds me of Houndstooth, but well, I guess partially it is Houndstooth, but it doesn't always like this little, this little part here doesn't look like Houndstooth, but this is definitely Houndstooth. It's like a mixed, mixed uh, pattern. Okay. So sometimes you can't, you have to not care about who the maker is. This is Karen Scott. She doesn't make expensive stuff, <gasps> but look how cute that is. Little ugly sweater, little terriers. I had to get it. Cause someone's gonna want that for Christmas. And it's never too early to get some ugly Christmas sweaters. Never. Pick them up. I don't care what time of year it is. Okay, I think this is a silk dress. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's partially silk. Oh, are these? I think they, uh, okay, I have to figure out how this went. I had it right in the store. Okay. I think someone re-sewed these straps because they're done with two different colors. Mm, okay, well, I'll just disclose that. This looks like somebody had sewn, reinforced them on the inside. But, okay, I'm showing you the wrong side first. You know, I'm a pro at this. But it's a really beautiful dress. I mean, honestly, it, oh, I see. They use white because it was on the white, and they use black because it was on the black. I don't know. Maybe it was supposed to be that way. I don't think it'd matter. I'll just disclose that that may have been reinforced by the last owner. But I just love, love, love this pattern. And the maker is Arden B., which I don't think is a really expensive brand, but it's a silk rayon mix. So, dry clean only. This will be something I would put in the um, dry out bag. Really pretty. Nice and summery. Okay, I get a Shakti. This is a pretty good plus size line. I think they only make plus size clothes, I wanna say. This is custom, so I don't know what that means. I'll have to do some research. But, oh, I should make sure this actually zips up. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they're broken. And that sucks because I don't sew zippers. But this one's not. It's a really cool Aztec pattern. It's blue and white. And it needs to be washed because it has a little few stains. It needs to be shaved a little bit here and there. But... Overall, it's a good, but I don't know if it has a size on it. Hopefully it's down here. No, there's no size. So I'm going to have to take an educated guess once I measure it. This is cool. I've not seen this, but I really like this. Soraya. I have not heard of this brand ever. This is an eight- but how pretty is the skirt? And it's layered. So, or tiered. I don't know if it's called tiering or whatnot, but I just, I love the pattern. It's really cute. 13 minutes, okay. I'm gonna pick up the speed here. These look brand new. I don't think these were ever worn. The tag is nice and crispy. Um, they have a white, that white and silver tab, but they're Levi's. And they're 524 too super low. I had a pair of jeans that sold, but isn't that a cool pattern? I love it. So I picked them up because, you know, why not? They look brand new. Perfect. Someone's going to love those. And they're like, they're really tiny, they're like size 24. But that's okay because... You know what? Size 24 girls, they shop. Or size zero. This is Under Armour. You can see it on the arm. The size is missing. But I think it's probably a small. Honestly. The size is missing, but the material tag I think is still here. Just doesn't say the size. Yeah, it's polyester. But it does have a 
think it's a style number that's there. So I'm going to look up that style number and see if it was a man. Or, well, I'm pretty sure it's a woman. But I meant, like, is it girls versus is it women's? Um, this is size 22 hybrid. Now, they have a few, like, little weird, not weird, but, um, like, stray hairs. Not hairs, but fibers on the back. And all you need to do when that happens on jeans, take your sweater shaver, shave them right off. Just cut them right off, and it's like they didn't happen. It makes them look perfect again. These need to be washed. Oh, these might be stained. That's okay. I can bleach these. All right, and the last one are a pair of Tommy Hilfiger shorts. Pretty sure these were meant to be shorts. They're like a cream color. They don't have any stains that I could see. They're size eight, and they're missing the material tag. So I can't tell like when it was made um, because Tommy Hilfiger, I don't know if they've always done it because I don't think every piece I have that's Tommy Hilfiger has a date on the, the very end tag, but most of them do. So anyway. Bag no more. There's two. There, well, there, in total, there's three clothing bags, and there's small. Well, one bigger tote, IKEA bag of shoes, and then two small ones. So we're not even halfway through. I'm 13 minutes in. I need to pick up the pace, right? Okay. This is Lane Bryant. I like to pick up Lane Bryant when I can. This is in great condition. Needs a tiny bit of pilling here and there. Like there's a tiny bit of pilling. Needs a bit of shaving on the arms. Usually it's in the underarm areas, but, and I think there's a size 22, 24, something like that. This I couldn't pass up. Um, Captain Guy Liner, because, yeah, duh. There we go. I mean, I could even say this for myself if I was ever a medium. Apparently not a medium. Just want to say that. Someone threw this back in. I thought it was really cute, so I kind of snagged it. It's Villa, Villa Clothes. I've not heard of it before, but it's in great condition. I like the little fringiness. It's navy blue. It shows up a little. No, I guess it's navy blue. But it's V-neck, V-back. It's just a little shift dress. Nice and light for summer. Okay. This is a sweater, and this is from CJ Banks, which is Christopher and Banks plus size line. I really just love, love this. I might keep it myself. I don't know. That was really cute. I like the buttons on the side. I love buttons on things, like especially on the sides, even if they don't do anything, which these don't. They don't unbutton. But how's it like a cowl neck, though? Just not my favorite, but... This is in perfect condition, so I thought, why not? I think this is another one. Maybe this is Lane Bryant. Nope, this is Marisa's. Marisa's runs a little small, but this is extra, extra large, or 2X, which that's pretty true to form on that. Um, I really like this one. I love the little fringy part of the bottom. Fringe is in right now. Some of them might just buy that anyway. This is a Victoria's Secret, like push-up bra. It's heavily padded. Like you can, it's a pillow. But it needs to be shaved on the inside and I need to wash it. But then it's perfect. There was a few Victoria's Secret bras, but I kind of left the other ones because a few of them you couldn't read the size on the tag anymore. And if it's, if the, if the ink is gone off the tag, I think it's a little too old to pick up. But that one, you could read the tag really easy. So this is a silk nightshirt. I just picked it up. People buy silk nightshirts. Now, this has a little bit of, like, stray hairs at the end of this one, like stray fibers, and has a little pilling. Just take your, your um, sweater shaver over it and get rid of them. Like, anytime you have, like, stray fibers, especially if it's, like, a very, like, a micro... Um, like a micro tweed, you can shave it right off. It won't break it. It won't create a hole or nothing. Okay. This is Neon Buddha. 
has no hold. It's just a regular long sleeve shirt. I think it's a woman's. And Neo, Neon Buddha is a, I don't know if it's specific to the Pacific Northwest. I'm here up here in Washington. Um, and I'm in Everett. So I went to the Everett Bins because it's 10 minutes from my house. And so that's when I go to. I've gone to the Seattle one. And um, that one's also good. It just, it's too far away to really make me. The stuff wasn't that much better or even if necessarily better than the Everett Bins. I found some really good stuff at the Everett Bins. I think they share. Honestly, I think they don't necessarily send only good stuff to Seattle or Seattle area stuff to Seattle, ever area stuff to ever. I think they mix it all up and send it to both places. So this I decided to take a gamble on it because it's Under Armour, but it does have Hawaii number six soccer, um, Hawaii prep. So this is obviously someone's school uniform uh, jacket, but I thought maybe someone will want it. Because, you know, people, they get things that have McDonald's logo on it, and they buy it to wear, like, normally, not even working at McDonald's. So, why not Hawaii Prep? You know, that's kind of cool. These are just regular old Levi's. They're 38, 34. They're men's, and um, there's nothing wrong with them. So, I picked them up. Men, men need shorts, too. Oh, I picked up a few hats early curly hat some of these need to be washed this one is a baseball cap I don't know what team that is I don't know if it says on the inside let's see Cooper's town collection mm. no it doesn't really tell me what team it is just tell me what size I don't know I'll have to like Google mascots for um, baseball teams but you know Hats, hats do okay. And then this one is 2018 US Open Shinecock Hills, which this would be USGA, which is the golf. I think it's golf. I think it's golf. Is it tennis? No, it's golf. It has to be golf. Anyway, it came with this little thing, like this little charm with it. I don't know. It's not like a pen. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. It's like a little medallion. But it doesn't like have like a... I don't know. I don't know what you do with it. This is Eileen Fisher. Now, sometimes it's worth going through all the kids' crap to get to an Eileen Fisher put piece. Um, I, I got to... The, the first bin I got to was kids, 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 kids. Some people like kids. I mean, I like kids. But some people like getting kids' items. I do not. I don't have kids. I don't really want to lock kids' items together. Maybe one day, you know, if I run out of things I want to get and I decide if it makes a lot of money to lock kids' things together, but I don't think it does. I think everyone that says, ah, eh, you make okay money. Mm. But you can see, this is her tag, but only Fisher because the Eileen part got cut. So these are Eileen Fisher jeans. But they're, oh, they do a tag on the inside. Oh, oh good. Because this is Green Eileen. Because I think they buy their own stuff back. Cool. We'd like our clothes back. Recycle them at our store. Nope. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to let somebody else do it. But it still has a material tag on it. Yay. I wonder if it tells me the size. Because the size, the size ones isn't on my other ones either. No, there's no size, sad. I'll have to just measure them and make a best guess like I did on the last pair. And the last pair I listed, I had, they were blue and I bleached them and they sold within 10 minutes because I listed them and then I was going on to Instagram to make a post and then I made my post. It took me uh, roughly five to 10 minutes to make a post. I know, I'm slow. Don't judge, don't judge, okay? Um, I went back to check on the item because I thought, oh, did I include this keyword? No, it's already sold. I guess it didn't matter because <laughs> somebody was like, mine. So, so far, she hasn't created a case or anything because it didn't have a size. And so I measured it and I did list the measurements and I said 32 and I did in the description say 32 is based on the measurements because um, there's no size tag. So hopefully they fit her and hopefully I guessed right. Anyway. So I'll have to do the same thing with those. I I tend to be okay. I, I tend to be pretty um, good about that. 
And this is a Victoria's Secret pink. Um, yeah. It's a large, but I'm wondering if it's a girl's. Because, I don't know. Maybe it's a woman's large. Anyway, it needs to be shaved a little bit. Like right here, it needs to be shaved. And then the, the 86 on the back needs to be shaved. Maybe it's woman's. I wonder if it tells me. Just says large, made Sri Lanka. I wish it would tell me girls or women's. Hmm. I think it's from 07. So it's an old piece. Oh, I think I need to wash this and have a few stains. All right. Third bag of clothes. And this one's, oh, a big one. Okay. So here in the Pacific North, well, in Washington State, we have the Seahawks. So this is a Seahawks jersey. Um, I thought I'd just pick it up. It says Sherman. It needs some shaving on the back. It has some pilling. You know, you get it for 25 bucks for it. It's a, it's an actual jersey. Or it's a, it has the NFL stuff on the inside telling you that it's legit. This had no maker at all. I just picked it up because it's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And I think... Yep, I haven't washed it and I'm putting it on. That's right, kids. Okay, it's probably like a medium or something, but it has these cool like little arms, like kimono style, three, four sleeve. Yep, I liked it. Okay, every time I see this kind of stuff, I pick it up because this stuff is so expensive. I will wash it, it needs a little bit of pilling, um, but has rubber on the inside of the leg so it doesn't like crawl up your thigh and then you have this big wad of fabric in your crotch and it's just uncomfortable. All the hook and eyes are there. None of them are bent. That's important. Make sure all the hook and eyes are there. Make sure it's not bent. Um, yeah. And cause you can get like some good money for that. I really like this. It's American Eagle Outfitters. I saw it look cool. It's a little jean bag. Some of them like it. This, I need to do a little bit um, of research for this. This is St. Croix Knits expressively for Desmond's for men. It's a little musty. It needs to be dry held. But it's a beautiful pattern. I really liked it. I like the arm, a little stripey thing down the arms. But isn't that pattern nice? I love it. So I try to pick up some men's items too, not just women's items. You know. Because I have a, a little bit of men's items compared to all the women's items I have. This is Cocoa Reef. It's a bra, bra size. It's 36D, so it's a has an underwire inside. So you will, those puppies are help being held up. You don't have to worry about them falling underneath the elastic. And if you have big girls, I do, you know that you need some ample support in that area in a swimsuit. It's very important. So I try to pick that stuff up. And it's just a, like a tikini top. This is Victoria's Secret. I think this is really their old, old style. I'm not sure if this is a, I probably is a pajama top, a, a pajama, pajama, really? That's not a word. Pajama top. Maybe not. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's, um, you know, sheer. I can see you. Can you see me? Really pretty though. I like it. These are kind of cool. These are La, La Bottega di Brunella. So, like Italian. Made in Italy. They're 50% linen and 50% acetate. So I think these are old. But look how cool these are. And they're the like cool, like, wide leg. Aren't they awesome? Yeah, someone's gonna love those. They're tiny, though. They say medium. So, yeah, I guess they are medium. They're not that tiny. But they look cool. Like, there's that goldish brownish color. Yeah, so 
someone's gonna rock those. Okay, I just picked these up because these are comfortable. They're Puma, there's nothing special about these. People like Puma, um, what do you call it? Oh my God, they smell so good. Someone washed these before they actually donated them. Cause these, I was over at this part of the bin and I just kept smelling this, like whoever, whatever fabric softener I used. And uh, I was like, oh, something smells good. And I, I picked these, I'm like, oh, it's this. <laughs> But these have pockets and they're in good condition and so you know they have the drawstring still puma makes a good um we call it sweats they just do they're good they're nice and comfortable and they last because they're a nice thick material they're not this thin shit crap sorry i swear you know i just do and i don't have to worry about getting um uh what do you call it docked on your YouTube because I don't get paid for any of my YouTube videos because I have like a following of 190 people. So if you are not one of my followers, please subscribe. <laughs> Hit the bell. Please. This is Cabbie. It's old style Cabbie. I picked up a few of the pieces today. Um, There's a few I didn't though. I really like this. It's like really cool. I'll put it on to illustrate how it looks. Yes, I know it hasn't been washed. I really don't care. So it has like this little part that's sheer. And then, you can't really see it though. Can you? Yeah. Anyway. It's a nice piece to just throw on over other things. And I like the panel on the back. It's lace. Going over the uh, elastic in the back that kind of cinches there. But why not? I don't, I'm not opposed to picking up old style cabby. I'm really not. This is Cory America. I really like this. I might even just keep this myself, but I might list it. I just thought, how pretty is this? Has some fringe on the bottom. Oh, there's a small hole. Yeah, this is mine now. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to make sure it fits. There's a small hole in the back. But you know what? I need tops like this or like little, yeah, it fits. Fits me just fine. It's mine. Oh, I can't reach it. <laughs> okay. That goes over there. That's my stuff. I might keep this too, but I might sell it. I think this is a vintage Torrid. I don't know if there is a such thing. I have to look up how long they've been around. But it looks kind of old. Like old style. How pretty is that? right love it and there's the back and i think so pockets no it just it has these things should have a, a tie but i'm just gonna snip that off like it doesn't have like it didn't happen um but how cute is that and i think it's in my size what size does this say well it's a size 24 i'm not a size 24 so this, I'd probably swim in this. I'm like a size 18 when it comes to dresses. So I'll sell this, but someone will love that because how cute is that? And I love, it's like that, it's like that 1950s style dress. I really love that. I need to take a drink of something, sorry. And that cute cup, got it at Target. It was like $9. Now my name is not, it doesn't start with a V. My last name does, and my business does. So V for Vandy's Closet and V for Vandridge, because that's my last name. Um, another cabbie. And I just thought this was really cute. There's no holes in it. It has this ruched side, on both sides. So I'm not sure if it's a maternity. I don't think it is, but it could probably be used for that. A lot of maternity uh, clothes have ruching on the sides, so you can, like, expand. You know, like you need to. This is a, this is just a Columbia um, large woman's sweatshirt. I, it's a, it's not a sweatshirt material. It's like that really fine knit type material. And you know, has like pockets in the front on the sides. One continuous pocket, they look, ooh. Why not, right? There's no stains on it or nothing like that. 
This is, um, oh, this is Leslie Faye collection. This is an, uh, not antique, vintage. And I think this is old vintage too because of the, it's a black union tag. And the black union tags, I think these were used in the, that particular one, I think it was used in the 60s and the 50s. I'll have to, maybe the 60s. But it kind of looks like an 80s piece, right? Like, I immediately thought maybe 80s. I know they stopped using that. They stopped using that um, union tag altogether, I think, in 95. Because it went to a whole different union. So, maybe this is 60s. I'll have to do some research on it to date date where it's at. But I thought it was really cute. And I like, I like getting vintage items. I really do. I'm kind of a sucker. So this is Fabletics. The only problem with this, this is a size large, is that there's a little bit of wear, wash wear in the crotch area. So, and the way to get around that is sometimes you could take your sweater shaver and just shave it and it makes it like it was brand new. Like it, that part goes away. Cause it's like this little tiny, like pills almost, if you will. Like it's not so much concentrated up here, not so much down here, like it's here and there, but it's really bad in the crotch area. I figured, okay, I'll try to get it out. If nothing else, these will be mine. So I'm not out anything. I really like the pattern of them too. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is worth anything. I think it's a table runner. I really loved it though. It's Christmas, hello. Christmas in May. Um, I was trying to pick up some stuff for like eBay that's not closed, but this is Bella Lux. So I don't know if that's a good brand or not. Um, polyester and linen. I thought, well, you know, I can keep it for myself because it's kind of cute. I really do like it. I don't have a lot of Christmas linen type stuff. Ooh, I have a spare bag. I could be putting stuff in this other bag. That would be smart. Just saying. Okay, this is Chico's design. But look how cool. I really like it. It's a smile backwards and forwards and just has all kinds of other things on it. It's the only problem. It's missing a button. It looks like it was a riveted button at some point. Um... But I'm just going to find a button that fits this hole and I'm just going to sew one on there. And then I'm going to just close I did that. So this is a size two. So it was like a size, they use vanity sizing. So this would translate to like a size 14. Yeah, I think about a 14. Okay, I'll put it in the right pile. I can do this. Okay. This I thought was really pretty. It may be nothing. I think it's vintage. It's Anthony, Anthony Richard made the USA. It's polyester, but look how pretty this dress is. I just really love the sleeves and it's pretty long. It's like a midi dress, nothing wrong with it. It is sheer though. So you'd have to wear a slip underneath of it. Um, this is Kenzie. It's a silk top. It's a size 12 and it zips on the side. Now this feels a little stiff. So what happened, someone washed this. Now people think when you wash silk, it's ruined. It's not. It just feels that way for a minute what you do because I've washed a lot of silk honestly you can wash silk on cold and a gentle cycle um take it out immediately if you do because it's not silk doesn't color fast and so silk bleeds um but if you if you wash it with just itself and you take it out immediately the moment it's done um, because it's going the whole time it doesn't bleed all over itself but when it sits there it bleeds on itself I've made that mistake a few times but as long as I get it out immediately it doesn't bleed on itself. Um, what you do afterwards, you let dry. 
And it it works better like on solids, honestly. Let it dry, air dry. Don't dry it, because that will ruin it. Um, then put it in a dry L bag with a dry L dryer. Makes the silk perfect again. Makes it feel like silk again. So that dry L, those sheets in there, they're like pure magic when it comes to revamping silk. Just wanna point that out. So this is a Pure Energy. It's a plus line. I think it's a plus size line. Um, I, it's size two, which is the 2X. They use vanity sizing as well. Look how pretty that is. And it has, I thought it had ties. Does it not? I thought it has a tie. Oh, it does. It just is in the front. So it goes, it's like a halter, a halter ties around your neck. So, you know, it doesn't fall off the girls. But it's a maxi dress. But how cute is that? You know, and an animal print, every, it's a staple. So if you don't have anything that's an animal print in your closet and you're a size 2X, I'm a 2X, I might keep it. I do not have anything animal. <laughs> I was watching a, um, a, you know, what was it, 85 things that you must have in your closet, you know, closet staples. I watched that earlier today. So I am not familiar with this brand. Love Kuza, made in USA. This is a nice thick material. <gasps> but look how cute. Oh my God. Oh my fox. Love it. Super cute. Look at the size. It doesn't up there. Hopefully it has a size somewhere down here. It's a size 2X. No, that's a small 2X, I think. Is it? I mean, I could probably squeeze my body in this, actually. It's small, so it'd fit more like an extra large. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. Because I don't think they make 2XL for gir little girls. I think once you're, what, what you would be to get to that size as a little girl, you'd be in women's sizes at that point. I don't think, um, I really don't think that it's a girl size. Anyway, I'll look it up and see. Maybe it is. Maybe it's a junior's. But I don't think they go up the high either. This is... Okay. Let's see if you can... There you go. It's Col Colchas Es Domingos at home. This actually comes pretty high. Like, I want to say like $30 for one. It's a nice, thick, regular size. Like, you put a pillow in here. It's a pillowcase. What? It's like 20, 30 bucks. I was like, where's more of those? There wasn't. There was none of those. They had other ones that are similar to that, but they weren't that same um, brand and they weren't that same pattern. Okay. I've never heard of this brand. I don't even. Oh, okay. It's Metal Mocha. Metal Mocha. What's that? M-U-L-K-H-A, Mocha? I don't know. But I thought it looked really cool. Some guy's gonna like this. This is definitely a guy's, like, jersey. Is it because it's a jersey type material? If you can see it, that has this all on it. It's embroidered. Some guy's gonna love that. Okay, this I got for me. Because, A, I love Old Navy. Well, I think we all do. We all, you know, we all kind of trust it. And I don't think it's in bad condition. But it's a trench coat. Yep, I tried it on at the bins. Some lady looked at me weird. I'm like, whatever. I really don't care. Has a tie still. Ooh, and it fits me. Looks pretty damn good if I should say myself. I really like it. So I'm keeping it. I don't think there's any big stains or anything on it. There isn't. It has a couple pockets. It has this business in the back. I think this is like an old made in Bangladesh. But I'm keeping that for myself, at least for the next season. Unless I'm too small for that, which I really hope I am too small by then, but who knows? Maybe I won't be. And then I picked up these. They're a, I think they're a twin size. 
fitted and um, flat sheet. But look how cool that is. And who is the maker? Give me four seconds. Three, two, found it. Is the Vermont Country Store, they're 100% cotton. So they're made in Portugal. So I, I wanna say I looked up the, the Vermont Country Store before. I don't think these are cheap. I think these are pretty expensive. So I'm gonna look on eBay. I'm gonna, what I do is I, I like hang them up up there and kind of pin them up to, or have my husband help me hold them out, see if there's any stains or anything on it, flip them over. So what we did on those Ralph Lauren ones, I had like one tiny little stain that I made $200 off of eBay on. 200 bucks, four bucks at the thrift store, $4. So keep that in mind. If you don't look at sheets, and I'm starting to look at sheets now at the bins, because I was like, why not? Plus the clothing, everyone was like, um, they're like vultures over all the clothing. And then of course on the shoes, man, there's a few people that were like going through them and throwing shoes everywhere. And like a couple girls, like a small, there's, they weren't girls, they were women, but they were really short and they were just going through tearing it up. And I was like, go past me, you know, pretty much. I'm just, I'm slowly looking. Um, I'm glad I slowly looked because I found some really good shoes. So, oh, we're down to shoes. Um, these aren't the really good ones. I just found these. I think I can get like 10 to 15 bucks. They're just Nike slides or men's. They need some cleaning. Um, okay. Sorry. I don't want these shoes all over the floor because it's hard to pick up later on. So, I'm just going to make a, put them in this bag as I go. Make it easier on myself later on because this room is not that big. And, um, yeah, <gasps> no, these are not, yes, they are. I found baby Uggs. They need some cleaning, but I found baby Uggs and I think they're real because I looked on the inside I mean, they have some wear. I mean, a toddler wore these clearly they say Ugg on the inside, the little R circled. Um, they have the little this little thingy with a little metal strip which I've told that that is a way to tell and they're like size nine baby okay sorry I think that went blur but so cute I don't typically pick up kids stuff but baby Uggs could you say no I mean really okay so I think these came from the same woman. So I think I'm gonna lot these up and sell them together. They're a pair of Tom's wedges. And I think the last pair I had, I think they were for like 15 bucks. So I'm gonna lot these up together. Has a little bit of wear on this heel. Uh, it's these ones, they need to be cleaned. So I'm gonna clean them up. And then these ones. So they're exactly the same size and pair of shoes, just two different colors. So I think I will lot these together and just like sell them as a bundle, just another day. These are born, borns, and make sure on both borns and, um, what are they called? Dance goes, especially dance goes. Do this while you're in the thrift store. You want to make sure that this part doesn't break. Cause that, that breaks and cracks that means there's dry rot and then you don't want them these are leather pretty sure they're genuine leather oh they may not say it but they feel like it oh they do yep they need to be shined and stuff okay i'm just saving the best the best bag for last make you stay you know like they say this story at 11 and that's the last story because they want you to watch the whole thing you know, this is just Steve Madden. I really love these. Oh, I think they snap down here too. Cause they, they do unzip on the back. I think they, oh, I didn't completely understand this before, but now I do. So they can do be in a couple different positions and then they zip up 
in the back. However, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the way you're supposed to wear them, but they just need some shoe shining. I got leather products. I don't think these are real leather though, but the leather product still works on them. Oh, they are. They're leather. They have that aged look to them. So those are cool. Oh yeah. Guess what this is? Dun dun dun. Ugh. And at first I'm like, mm, that's not real, right? I mean, it has some issues. First, has I don't know what the hell that is down the front. I'm going to have to clean that and try to get it out. But it has these really cool pockets on the side. Like, you could wear this and then put your hands in the pockets. I don't know if that meant to be like that. You know, I'm pocket in my purse. But they're like actual pockets. I don't know. Maybe. And someone's bobby pin. All right. No money in it. You know, I checked. Um, it has an ink stain. Like, there's an ink stain in the inside that bled to here. So, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that out. Probably not. But, I'm not sure if that will really hurt the bag itself. But, okay, this is why I don't think it's fake. Because it has this thing. The little silver tab. So, I've heard that whenever you see this, that means it's real. And it does have... A little R in the circle next to the UG. So that's cool. It just needs a lot of some TLC. And then I found, I know, not high end this one. It's a, just like a Simpson bag, but I just thought it looked really cool. I really like these. I like the hardware. It's in good condition. You know, this is I'm just going to throw up on eBay. It's fake leather. It kind of looks cool, you know, but these on eBay, they didn't go for bad. I think they were comping like at, I don't know, 20, 30. I think they're like 25 or so dollars. I mean, I don't mind making $25. I paid like less than a dollar. Okay, this is kind of cool. I don't know if this works. I'm going to put like 8,000 batteries into it and see. I found a tape deck that has like these, I don't know, stereotype um, it's an equal, it built an equalizer. Yeah. Why not? So I'm going to test this out, you know, and then it's like, Oh no, I don't have an AC cord. <gasps> but look, there's a panel for 8 million batteries and I'm sure they're D and there's, there's six of them. I have that many, but really six. Okay. That's done. That's done. Put this one bad girl on the floor. Bad boy. Bad something. But I thought, I don't know if it tells me when it was made. The other one I saw, it did. It was made in 1999. And this one, I don't know when it was made. It doesn't tell me. Damn it. But Sony, and Sony tends to keep its value. So keep that in mind. I don't know. I'm going to have to look on eBay. Oh, this bag's heavy. It has some heavy shoes in it. Okay, I've never heard of these. These are leather though, but these are, I think they're fairly good. I, I originally, <laughs> I originally read this as biatch, <laughs> but it's blotch. Yeah, I was a little tired. I'm all biatch. I'm like, that's funny. I'm like, oh no, it's blotch, whatever. But they're leather. I'm not sure. Yeah, leather upper, rubber sole, cotton lining, leather sock made in Thailand. So I'm gonna look these up. These are size seven. These are my size, but they're kind of cool. I think, I know they're not driving shoes, but they're these cool little flats. They remind me of like, at first I thought, oh, are those a weird looking teaks? I got all excited for a moment. I found some really dirty sorrels. So sorrel, they're snowshoes or they're like, what do you call it? Boat, not boat shoes, but water sh duck shoes. That's what they're called. These are really, really, really filthy. So I'm going to see what I can do to clean them. Um, I think I'm just going to have to take a rag and take some, um, uh, what do you call it? 
soap and water to it and hopefully it comes clean. We'll find out. If not, I waste a little bit of money. Uh, but I don't know. Oh, they're a little bit ripped in the back. I don't know. Maybe someone will buy ripped up sorrels. One lace is missing. Oh, that's perfect. But not the tie up here. I don't know. That may be my mistake. I always make a few. There's always like a good like three or four items that are just not good buys. Not at all. And maybe that's one of them. We'll see. Okay. Oh, no! They're falling off the chair. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is a comedy of errors now. Okay. So these are Keens. These need a little bit of care. They're suede green shoes. I don't know if they're women's or not. Uh... They are size eight. Ooh. Piece of tree came out. All right. Whatever the hell that is, I'm gonna choose to think that they're tree. I think this is, this is Sam Edelman. I think this is cap hair on the outside here. Um, but Sam Edelman, I wonder if it tells me on the inside. Please tell me. Oh, it's really faded though. Okay, these are size nine. Leather, leather and man-made upper. So, one of the other ones easier to read. I think the trim is man-made. I think that's the man-made part. Yeah, it's leather and man-made. So I think this is, I think this is dyed cowhide. And then this part is the man-made part. And this is, you know. But cute, right? Couldn't pass those up. They're a little bit kind of wear on the side here. Yeah, you can't see that. I didn't see that, so I don't know. I might just put them up on auction. Someone might buy them anyway. We'll see. That may be on another bad move. Oh no, it's bound to be a few. Okay, these are tap shoes. As soon as I saw these, I knew what they were. Tap shoes are expensive. Um, looks like this person had a dog, so I'm gonna have to de-dog this. But um, they're non-leather on the outside, but they're not that scuffed up. They look practically brand new, honestly. Yeah, if, I mean, if a kid needs tap shoes and they need them relatively, <gasps> Oh, look, blotch, blotch. These are for ballet people. Oh, they might be ballet shoes of some kind. Maybe like lyrical shoes, I don't know. But it's Techno Tap, number 2T. What size are these? Mm -mm -mm. Does it tell me? Oh, please give me some. seven and a half. So these are my size, basically. Um. Cool. Seven and a half and seven. Anyway, tap shoes are expensive. So I remember when I was in tap, which was back in the 80s. So that wasn't now time, now expensive. It was then expensive. I don't think it got any cheaper throughout the years. Just saying. Okay, these are 14th and Union. I don't think these are even real leather. But they're a Lori... Oh, someone stuffed. I don't know what is in here. Ooh, maybe this is my other bad buy. There's something stuck in here. Wonder if I can unseat it and still keep the. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is. Anyway, okay, I took it out. It's not on the other side. I don't think these are real leather. I would say not. They don't say either, but it's a good Laureate. It's a Dorsey. I don't think it's a Laureate. It's a, a Dorsey. Do Dorsey? It's a D apostrophe Orsi um, flat. Pretty sure that's what they're called. If I'm wrong, put in the comments what it really is. And I apologize for being wrong. No, I don't. Not really. You know, people are wrong. We're all wrong about something. So, 
No need to be ultra sorry about it. But I like to be, I like to give accurate information. These are Coach Flats. They're just really cute. I don't know what size they are. Do they tell me? Please tell me. Nah. I hate it when shoes don't tell me what size they are. Because it's really annoying. Because then I have to guess. I don't like guessing. I think these are my size, though. <sighs> Coach, you cost enough, I'm sure. I'm sure you can put the size somewhere in there to make it a little bit easier on the rest of us. If these are my size, I'll probably keep them. Ah, they look like an eight, though. Yeah. Well, well, there might be even a nine. Yeah, these are a seven, which I'm about seven, seven and a half. This is much bigger. They're like a nine. I'll have to like do some research, do some measurements. These, oh wow, I thought that rubber band went in my coffee. I'd have to like get rid of that coffee all of a sudden because I'm not gonna drink a rubber band from the, in my coffee from the bins. These are Clark's. These are. These need a little bit of shining, a little bit of love. But I have some great stuff for that. That'll make these scuffs go pretty much away that you won't really see them. Size are these, they are leather. Nine and a half, no nine, just size nine. But booties are good to pick up. People love Clark, and Clarks are so comfy. Um, you can walk around all day long in Clarks. Okay, we're at the last thing, we're at an hour. Oh no, I lied. One more. These are also Clarks. These are our bendables. They're just these leather, um, like sandal type shoe slides. These are pretty popular. And then I was looking at these and I thought, oh, these looked really cool. So I'll show them to you right somebody that's familiar with this brand is like oh i know what that is but i was like you know i looked at the bottom i was like tony llama where have i heard that before i heard it from reseller youtube channels because they find tony llama and um sell it these are made in the united states i think these are size eight I don't know if these are men's or women's. I assume, oh, they're D. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're men's because D is, I think, medium for women. They either mean medium, like the normal size, or they mean wide. I can't remember which one it is. But I think it's, I think it's the medium, and like M or B is used in women's shoes. So these are men's shoes. They're size 8. That was good. Like just Ds are always, they need some uh washing they got some action they got some dirt but they're in great condition they just need a little bit of shining oh yeah here's the other one <laughs> there's more than one there's two but aren't these beautiful i mean they have they have some wear they've been worn they've been loved thoroughly but they can be loved thoroughly again because these are cool looking boots and i looked at comps and they're kind of they're kind of all over the place Ooh, it made shoes fall out. Um, I found them for use for like fifty to a hundred and fifty dollars. So I don't know where those are gonna go on that that scale. Um, if I got fifty dollars for them, I'd be okay. I'd be happy because I would pay for more than half of my trip. And so I mean, great if I got a hundred bucks for them. I don't think I will. But if I got anywhere from a hundred or for fifty bucks for them, well, if I got fifty bucks, I get like forty. Um, and that would pay for just about half my trip because it was $92 to get 79 pounds because I got them for $1.08 a pound instead of 89 cents a pound, which is what I really try to do. But I want to try to go once a week. That's my goal. So all of this stuff needs to be posted by Friday of next week for me to go again. So I think I can do that now that I do this full time. So I'll be posting some of this tomorrow. Yay! Got to wash a lot of it um, and do whatnot, but yeah. Anyway, so no, no low, low power mode closed. I'm almost done, so my phone's about to die. 
So subscribe and hit the like button. If you didn't like my video, I'm sorry. You know, I'm just, I'm me. And I really don't care if you don't like it. I make these for me. But if you don't like it, hit the thumbs up anyway. Because why not? Thank you for watching. Thank you.